How's it going everybody? This is Echo Papa, and today we're going to talk about the tag editor. Now most of the tag editor stuff is pretty self-explanatory, so we're going to skip over the basic stuff. We're just going to go into more of the advanced stuff. So before we get into the actual tag editor itself, we're going to look at some of the options that pertain to the tag editor. So let's go to the config menu, options and tweaks, and we're just going to type in tag. Now Here's the different options that pertain to the tag. Most of them, once again, are self-explanatory. Uh, the most important one here is probably get tags auto. That's just, you want to make sure that, that says yes. That's just going to make sure that whatever tag data is already inside of your data file, let's say an MP3 file, that it's going to suck that data into the virtual DJ database. Now, uh, the other one here is set tags auto. Now that one here doesn't really pertain to the data that's inside of your music file that actually uh, has something to do with the with the tag editor itself there's a button in there at the bottom called write tag and what that does is whatever information you change in the virtual DJ database once you click write tag it's going to update the information that's in the ID 3 tag of that audio file because Virtual DJ by default is not going to write the data. Like for example, like let's say you have a song and it's called XYZ. If you change the name of the song to ABC, it changes it only in Virtual DJ. If you want to actually be changed on your, your say your MP3 file, you actually have to click that write tag button to make that update. That's why in all my videos, regardless of whether it's going to update it or not, I always just say, Hit the, right to t hit the right tag button because it's just a good habit to get into to make sure you update your files because typically the only reason that you're ever updating those files is because you have you're either adding information that you want to have in there or you're correcting information that's incorrect if you switch that to yes then it's just going to automatically write the data that it can it can add to your music file every time you update it uh, and these other ones are pretty self-explanatory. Get ratings from tags, because uh, there's a five-star rating there in, in Virtual DJ. If it finds a rating system that it's compatible with, it'll take that. Same with comments. And uh, get tag from zip. I'm not sure what get tag from zip is. It says down at the bottom, open zip files to see if an MP3 or MP4 file has get tags. And I, I believe that that is for karaoke files, but... I'm not 100% sure on that. But anyway, it's, it's not something that we're going to have to, uh, to mess with because most of these, we're just going to leave them uh, by the default works pretty good. Like get cues from tags, um, we can leave that to no because we're going to set our own cue points in the song. And then get ratings from, from tags. Here it says no. That's because the ratings that you might have uh, in your personal software might be different than the ratings that you might have for your DJ software. For example, there are songs that, you know, I really just... I'm just not that crazy about, and so I personally would rate them low, but uh, in the the DJ world, I know they rock the dance floor, so, you know, and there I would rate them high, so that way it's more easier for me to find them. Also, one thing I want to note, too, is that there's there's two places that these tags are being stored. One is on the file itself, and the second place is in Virtual DJ's database, and you, you got to remember that they're, they are two separate entities, because... If Virtual DJ had to literally search through every file that you had on your computer every time, say, you did a search, it would take it forever. That's why Virtual DJ keeps that second database, so that way it keep, makes indexing those files a whole lot faster. And that's why it can bring up songs that you search for so quick. So let's go ahead and we're going to get out of here. You know what, there's a couple of other quick options that I forgot about that we better go over just real quick. Um, the one is cover download uh, and that is uh, that just downloads the covers for your albums uh, and the other one uh, is right here get remix when parsing file names uh, and what that is is typically uh, in your file names a lot of times your files will say you know artist and then the song title or sometimes song title and then artist but when it's a remix or say a radio edit or something like that, uh, it'll usually say that in parentheses and get remix when parsing file names is that's just an option when you turn on yes. It's just basically telling you know virtual DJ because virtual DJ says, hey, I'm smart enough to realize that's a remix. If it says something like, you know, artist, song name, you know, and then in parentheses, dubstep mix, you know, it just takes that and then adds that to the, the files. 
Let's go right into our tag editor. Right mouse click on your file, click tag editor. And here's our tag editor. Most people have been in here before and, you, and you've seen it. Uh, if you ever want to make a change, all you got to do is just highlight what you want to make a change to and then uh, make your change. When you're done, you click this right tag at the bottom. And then what that does is it updates the data that's inside the ID3 information. And then you can click OK and it closes it out. You can click the Previous and Next buttons. And that's, for example, uh, if we were to click Previous and Next, it would go Previous and Next through this list that we already have here. Uh, here down at the bottom, uh, once again, self-explanatory. It's the information, size of the file, the bit rate. Uh, if you don't know what bit rate is, it's just, it. while bit rate doesn't always equal song quality, nine times out of ten, the higher the bit rate, the higher the quality of the audio file. Um, and then the, st the style of audio file that is. In this case, this one's an MP3. So let's go over some of the other stuff in the tags. In a lot of songs, you'll notice that there are, the, for example, here the name of the file, the name of the artist, but then at the bottom it says tag and it says that information. In this case, it's got the ident identical information again. And now what this is, is telling us that this field up here, this is what's written to the database in Virtual DJ. This tag is what's written into the ID3 tag that's on your MP3 file. And that's just so if, if it's different, then uh, you can show it right there. Like uh, Next here, uh, same thing here. We, see, we got all these little tags here. These are, are things from the, the tag that's inside the, the file. So of these files, which ones is it that it pulls from our sound file, assuming you can find them and, and that they're in there, and which ones is, is only for Virtual DJ. So let's go ahead and take a look. Now obviously our four at the top, these are probably our most important and these are the ones that we use a lot. Uh, those are all going to pull right from the ID3 file, uh, assuming that they're, they're in your ID3 file. And a lot of these up here are also. Uh, the remixer, the composer, label, genre, the year, this is one that I change a lot. Because a lot of times, you know, if, for example, you pulled it from a compilation, then it usually shows the year the compilation was made and not the year the song was actually released. Uh, the track, that just being, you know, if, for example, if it was a, a CD, uh, just saying that it was track number 18. Uh, grouping, BPM, uh, the key. Now, it does not show gain. The ratings, and that's the thing where it says if you want to pull the ratings from your tags, uh, you can set that in your options to yes and it will uh, update this otherwise you can set it yourself and then uh, here where it says comments it'll pull that comments too if you don't want to pull those comments you can go back to options and say no and it won't won't pull those comments so but which ones does it not put to the ID3 file well there's some that are specific only to virtual DJ that's it's never going to go back into and here they are the first one is color you know because most regular software does not use uh, color browsing. Uh, the gain, that's another thing that's it's specific to Virtual DJ, and that's just the gain that it sets when it plays your file. In this case, it's negative 5.35 decibels. So when it loads up that file, it notes basically to turn it down that much every time it plays it. Play count, this is another one. Only Virtual DJ cares about this. Virtual DJ doesn't care how many times iTunes has played it or anything else. And it's likewise, iTunes doesn't care how many times Virtual DJ has played it. This play count is only for for you. So that way you kind of know how popular it is. Is it something that you've been playing a lot? Is it something that you haven't been playing? First seen, this is the first time the Virtual DJ database has seen it. And first play, this is the first time you've played it. Now sometimes in here you'll see that this first play is blank, and that's just because you've never played it before. And then last play, this is the last time you've played it. You can see uh, this one looks like it's been a while since I've played this song. And the only other thing that, that's really in here, uh, other than uh, being able to change your cover art, is uh, this menu button right here, which allows you to actually change the name of your file, if you want to change the file name itself. But my recommendation is that unless your file names are just crazy and, and, and really screwed up, is to just leave those file names alone. Uh, I, I never mess with mine. The last thing I want to talk about is how to batch files. Uh, if you take files, let's go ahead and then we're going to select all these. Uh, right mouse click, tag editor. Now you can see a lot of these 
our uh, it says multiple values we can take this and we can we can put in a year and then once we click OK then every song in here is going to get the same year this can be really handy if you have a bunch of files that maybe have uh, incorrect information but they all share the same information for example say the name of the album etc so that's it for the tag editor if you guys have any questions you can put them down in the comments uh, you can also find me on twitter at DJ Echo Papa. If you liked this video, please click the like button. If you really liked it, share it with your friends or better yet, subscribe. Until next time, my name is Echo Papa, and I will talk to you later.